AWS New York Speedway. We're looking for winners. These are your babies. Yes. His own homie. He beats him. Unless I win this, I'm not getting to the Vegas convention. I'm just going to give this a shot. <laughs> Our only car is the Deep Racer. I built this huge track. I got to have something to show for it. Yeah! Oh! Out of nowhere. This is an unprecedented finish for us. Uh-oh. What happened? Welcome to the world's first autonomous racing league. Developers of every skill level from all corners of the globe compete for the ultimate prize in machine learning. Welcome to Deep Racer TV. New York City. It might be easier to list what it isn't than what it is. The cultural, financial, and media center of the world. The most populous city in the U.S. The best tech city in the planet, according to a recent study. And home to more job openings in machine learning than anywhere else. Deep Racer New York City, on the road to the Championship Cup at AWS reInvent 2019, and the clock starts now. Head on over to the paddock where you guys can sign up, sign in, compete, and represent New York City. What were your parameters? I cannot show you my reward function, but I enjoy the action space. I don't turn too wildly. I'm Martin Paradesi, and I'm a data engineer, and I work on data pipeline and streaming data. I was born in India and I came to America for my master's in machine learning. The field of machine learning has changed and I've been trying to stay up to speed with the field. And Depressor seems like a natural evolution of my learning process. Welcome to New York. I have about 10 to 15 people from Capital One and Nelson is here with me, so I'm hoping that he does well on the track. All the machine learning has stopped last night. Now it's all about human learning, and the best driver on the track will probably win. You've been prepping for this race? I've been prepping for quite a few months, actually. Okay, wow. I have tried several methods using waypoints, using a lot of speed, and as long as it has one wheel on the track, I'm fine with it. So you got more than one model? I do. I actually have a bunch of them right here. These are your babies? Yes. You've got your babies. They're yep. color-coded. Yep. Oh my goodness. Which ones are which? Uh, I think the bottom ones are waypoints. That's awesome. <laughs> and which one are you racing today? The speed one. Just turn it loose. Let just, it run? Just let it rip. <laughs> I like it. All right. Good luck. Thank you. We have Martin getting on down. He's knocking it out right here. We're trying to find the fastest time once again here at the AWS. Deep Racer! That was good. Can we get it for Martin? He is our leader, our new leader. Look at that smile on his face. Come on, man, we can make some more noise. He potentially could represent New York City. I'm thinking, oh my word, I'm actually first place right now. And I never expected to be first place, but now that I won it, I want to win it all. 10.54 seconds. Are you just going to sit back and let this one ride? Are you going to race again? No, I'm going to try my other models. Good luck with that. Thank you. Joe showed me a video of him with his very own track that he has at his job. I am Joseph Nielsen. I work for Slalom Consulting. I help do their software engineering, make APIs, search engines, you know, the office, nerd, or whatever. I never really got into reinforcement learning until I started playing with Deep Racer. I asked my kids, hiking or arts and crafts? So here we are. It's been fun learning about reinforcement learning. My oldest is supervising the machine learning. How's it going? Good. Have we reached convergence? Um, no. Going into the competition, I really got to do well on this race. I built this huge track in the office on the 61st floor of World Trade. It's 37 meters long. I didn't even ask my boss. I just started building it. I'm going, no, no, hey! No. Ah! Oh, you I gotta have something to show for it. 20. Ah! What position will Joe be in? All right, they're gonna tally up his fastest lap. Oh, Joe! New finisher, 10, 7, good job. Joe, I believed you could fly. Two nights ago, I made a breakthrough. I just need to do speed squared times progress. 
So what Joe is doing is combining existing data points like position to center, next waypoint, and speed into a single value he's using to train the deep racer called variable future waypoints. It's like skiing. When you're going slow, your eyes only need to focus a few meters in front of you to adjust to changes in the course. But if you're speeding downhill, you need to look farther ahead to plan your moves. When it's moving slowly, Joe's deep racer model focuses a short distance ahead when deciding whether to turn. But at higher speeds, the car looks at a waypoint farther down the track, and that's variable future waypoints. Where'd you get that? Reinvent 2018. We started coding Python models. Mathematically, if you stay in the center, it's going to take more time to get around the track than if you're in the left. That's right. So mark the left line as your center point. That's not a bad way to do it. I'm Daniel. I am the head of product at LogicWorks, and we specialize in providing managed services to AWS customers. This is my son. Okay. I'm 10. I'm 10. A very good chess player. We program Legos, we make Legos do automated stuff. We both share an interest in coding. We wanted to learn Python, and when the Deep Racer got announced, I was like, oh, this is perfect. We live on the Upper West Side. I bicycle everywhere. And I walk. Our only car is the Deep Racer. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Here we go, we got the Poles family trying to get it all down. AWS Deep Racer League. Sponsored by Intel, right here in New York City. Let's see where they come up on that board. Good job. And you pull with 14. Fourth position. New York Speedway. How you doing? Hi. Your name is Nelson. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm Nelson Yang. I work for Capital One, and I'm a software engineer. Growing up in a tech household, the main thing that really captivated me is wanting to understand what my parents were talking about at the dinner table. I dabble a little bit in video game development. At Capital One, we brought in a physical track. Martin was really the driving force in this team. It'd be insane if we were to win the competition. Joe is in second place, Martin's on first. We're about to have our next racer, Nelson. So let's see what happens. Capital One represent big time. That was fast. That was fast. That was fast. Oh! oh! Suddenly I hear things go wild on the track. What? What? There's a new first place, and I'm like, oh, it better not be someone else. We have a new leader! And then I see Nelson is happy and dancing with it. And I'm excited because he's my colleague. So here we are right now. Martin, life was good to you. Life was good to you at one time. His colleague beats him. Where is he? He's getting all the limelight. Yeah, he's getting all the interviews. Oh, yeah. We are really good friends at work. And he just brought this beef between me and Nelson. His own homie. Like if my homie did that. It's like East Coast, West Coast beef. Oh, I'm 100% East Coast. I prefer all genres of music. Yeah, Nelson, what's up, bro? You got some beef, bro. Intel creates the Atom processor, which is used in the Deep Racer. They're also responsible for OpenVINO, which is the platform used by developers for machine learning, giving developers the opportunity to manage their models in the cloud and on the car. Praise for prizes and glory. We want to see this leaderboard change. Now, I have a lot of faith in Mike. I'm Mike Pilecki. I work at a company called Applied Visions. I'm a senior software engineer there. Deep Race is probably my first foray into serious machine learning. I've always been interested in machine learning because I like games. I'm usually playing board games with friends. With the sand on the mountains. My daughter is turning four in August. I put her to bed around 8 o'clock. I'm exhausted, and then I have to start programming. I put in some time training, and I would love to win it. I would love to go to the biggest convention. Um, unfortunately for me, the funds aren't there, so unless I win this, I'm not getting there. Mike definitely is trying to bring the pain. Whoa! 
We'll, we'll count it. I thought that was good. Michael, 11.9 seconds. How did it feel? It was a little scary. The model started off a little slow, slower than I would like to, but it, it kind of picked up. Now, are you going to get back in line and try again? For sure. For sure. All right. This is your first time getting it going. Yeah. Good. So you're confident. He's game face. He has no time for nonsense. Look at that hairpin. She did it like a pro. He's got a very stressed out smile on his face. You gotta believe in yourself some more. What's up, young man? How you doing? You all right? You got something to say? Say it to my face, young man. How you doing? Watch this. She's gonna be amazing in front of your face. You good? This is my aunt. I tell her to come here. I snuck her in. Why not? Bring your family out and let them see how great you are. If anyone has a Lamborghini on the license plate, it says Blaine. Make sure you guys move it. It's gonna get towed. Bro, I'm done. Three hours left, so make it all happen. Bro, make us proud, Joe. I put my model in for training. I set my look-ahead distance to 0.5. Here we go. Maybe there is hope that I can uh, end up in the top three. Look at this guy. Boom. Oh, 10.5. And sure enough, I get 10.5 seconds and get back into third place. The Poles family right now on the track. All right. The Pole family improved their positions. Yes. It's not going to make him on the podium, but they could be up for a top 10 finish. Martin, he needs to redeem himself. I'm just waiting in line. I had only one bathroom break all day. So the conditions were tough. <laughs> Let's see if he could beat his colleague's time. This time I'm using a combination model, a combination of waypoints and speed. It hasn't been overfitted, it's been trained just right. Regardless of his run right now, he's a good person. There's less than an hour left. I hope I get another shot at this. His name is Nelson, he is trying to top himself. Capital One took one more swing at the leaderboard, but Martin and Nelson are unable to improve their time. It was a little discouraging. I hope that I could get one last shot to race. All right, they're jumping back online right there. The top three have not moved in a while, so we definitely would like to see a shift in energy right here. Are you gonna change anything before this next run? You're gonna stay with the same model? Yeah, so the first model I ran, I was running it, rewarding hard on speed. Okay. Uh, this one, just, just staying more true to the tracks. A perfect line might be a good call. <laughs> good luck with that. Thank you very much. All right. So it was tense. I'm watching my car run. Nice turn. I'm not seeing the general wheels. I'm seeing it run pretty smooth. Oh, yeah. that was a good one. The crowd was starting to get into it. Like, I was still heading down, playing with the tablet. I started looking up, and it was you know, really ripping around. He's good. He's not playing. I felt like it was fast. Let's see how that looks on that leaderboard right now. Are you ready? AWS, New York Speedway. We're looking for winners. Michael seems to be sitting pretty. Martin and Nelson from Capital One and Joe from Slalom, they want to race again, but we've just been told there is no more time left. Michael's going to win, and I could sense the disappointment in Nelson. Uh, and I felt very, really bad for Nelson because he didn't get a second shot at redeeming himself. This right here is our final competitor. She has been thrown in from the mean streets of Alabama. My name is Achima Komkao, and I am going to start working at Google as an engineering resident this month. <laughs> I was born in Thailand, and I moved here when I was 12 to Huntsville, Alabama. I guess I'm like really outgoing and very adventurous, so I like to have things on my plate all the time. I went to China for four years to study abroad and learn its language. I think programming languages are pretty similar to human languages. And then I got back four weeks ago and I had to move all of my stuff to New York to be in the same city as Michael, my boyfriend. He really motivated me to like, try more, come to New York. If he hasn't told me that, I probably would just not be here. <laughs> Three, two, one, here we go. This is the first time. I don't know, I'm just gonna give this a shot. <laughs> we'll see what happens. She is zooming on by. On the first lap, well, it's kept it at like a decent speed. Three minutes left. She's fast. Oh my! Yo! Out of nowhere! 
and then within the first minute or two... Uh-oh. What happened? I think it ran out of battery, and I couldn't raise it afterwards. And that is time! I was like, oh, okay, I guess that's it. I can't do any more race. We'll see what happens. All right, she did have a great run. And their parents hate him. And you just came me out of nowhere. This is an unprecedented finish for us. One racer to go, a racer who hadn't raced all day, comes in, places the top time. But that's how it goes in Deep Racer. Third place. This individual has stood in the line all day. He brought a lot to the table. Definitely an amazing haircut. Our third place. Give it up for Nelson. Yeah! It was a team effort, all in all, I would say. I mean, this is as much his as it is mine. Yeah. <laughs> the second place winner. Give it up for Michael Alexia. Unfortunately, first place was my trip to Vegas, so I haven't looked yet. If there's another event on the East Coast, I may see if I can make it out to that. Try again there. But right now, it's all about this wonderful storyline. She came here from the streets. I was like, hey, you should enter. And she was like, where at? At the Javits. Why not? And she came on down. Literally the last individual. Achieve! this to happen, it actually feels like a dream. I guess this is real because it's really heavy. <laughs> That does it for AWS New York. Out of the blue, the very last second, Achima comes out of nowhere, takes home the trophy, and she's going to Las Vegas. But there's still a chance for you to win your place to compete there as well, in the virtual circuit and at the remaining AWS summits. <laughs>